Hey guys, I want to show you how you can calculate the delta H for a reaction based on enthalpies of formation. Now, if you're given a chemical reaction and asked to find delta H, one way you can do it is to find the delta HF or the enthalpy of formation for all of the different molecules that make up the reaction. Usually you'll be supplied with a table of delta HFs like I was here. See, there's the delta HF for NH3 and NO2 and H2O. We're going to need those later when we do this calculation. But how can you actually find the delta H from those delta HFs? Well, the formula is that you all you need to do is add up all the delta HFs for your products and subtract all the delta HFs for your reactants. In this case, products. Huh, four times whatever the enthalpy of formation is for NO2. Take a look in your chart. I got the enthalpy of formation of NO2 to be 90.37. So, 4 times 90.37. I have to add 6 times the enthalpy of formation of water. Water is negative 285. So I have 6 negative 285s. Those are all my products. Just adding them up. Boom, 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 boom. And I have to subtract all the enthalpies of formation for all the reactants, like NH3, which has an enthalpy of formation of negative 46. And I have to subtract four of them. And then I have to subtract five times the enthalpy of formation of oxygen. But wait, why is the enthalpy of formation, why is the enthalpy of formation of oxygen zero? Well, let me tell you, enthalpy of formation is the amount of heat released when you create the molecule from its constituent elements. Carbon's natural state is just solid carbon. Oxygen's natural state is O2, the molecule. To make carbon dioxide from one carbon and an oxygen molecule, or the elemental natural states, you gotta break the bond between the two O's, then you've gotta attach the two O's to the C. When you form bonds, between atoms, energy is released. And that's why this is called the heat released when you form the molecule. Yeah. But the question remains, how much heat is released when you create oxygen from its elemental state? Oh wait, it already is its elemental state. And the delta H of formation for any element in its natural state is zero because it's already in its natural state. You don't have to do anything. You're not breaking bonds, you're not creating bonds, you're doing nothing special. It's always zero for an element. It's zero here for O2. So, when you do that on your calculator, let's do that on our calculators together. Four times 90.37 plus six times negative 285.85 minus 4 times negative 46.19 minus 0. The answer that I get here is negative 1168.9. See? Negative 1168.9. Now that's actually in kilojoules because these were all in kilojoules per mole, but we've taken care of the per mole bit by multiplying by these coefficients, the five and the four and the six and all that stuff. Every time this reaction happens, every time four moles of ammonia and five moles of oxygen react to form four moles of NO2 and six moles of water, you, the, the, whatever you're doing the thing in, the beaker or the vessel or the solution or whatever, releases 1,168.9 kilojoules of heat. That's quite a bit. It's an exothermic reaction because delta H is negative. But the important bit for you to remember is you can find delta H for any reaction if you have the delta H Fs for all the products and all the reactants. Don't forget when you look it up in your book, O2 
isn't here because it's an elemental form and your job is to know that delta HF for any element is zero. Best of luck in your own delta HF endeavors.